Okay, you guys, what is up, the king? Yeah! Of Lightning is here today to do Naruto Shippuden Shippuden episode 345 reaction. Now, if you guys don't know, because I'm pretty sure the long time subs they know what I'm they know what I'm doing, right? But for the guys who have just hopped on and who have never seen what a reaction video is. And normally I do them for Naruto Shippuden episodes, but what a reaction is, is simply put, me already watching the episode, and me talking about a particular part of the episode, where a live reaction is me not watching it beforehand, and you guys watching me as I watch the episode or read the chapter. And normally when I do it for anime, episodes I put the video footage in the bottom left hand corner of this video and in HD as well but that being said that's the difference here and I've done it I've done it since like Jump Street pretty much so this one in particular is going to be the end of the episode because the end of the episode in my personal opinion is the best part by far the rest of it is okay but when it comes to Obito running through the forest, and then he just stumbles upon the actual location, and I will get into details about how the Miss Ninja wind up being there, how it was super, like, wow, like, the home base of Maru Chia just happens to be near this location, and I could get really specific, and how, no, no, this one I'm gonna touch upon real quick. The fact that these cats, they skipped Tomo, they skipped they start at two, then they skip three, and went right into Mangeki. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, what the hell? Kishi. Either way. Either way. The thing here is that when it came to Kakashi and his Chidori, and, and he. I'm sorry. My bad. Reiki! He comes in with the Reiki. Yeah! And he pretty much stabs a hole right through Rin's chest and then Rin falls down she's dead obviously and Kakashi and Obito have like this sink of the Mangekyu Sharingan occurrence which was pretty well animated and then Kakashi passes out and Obito proceeds to go on a rampage now I'll get more in a detail real quick but I do want to say before I go into more detail Blue Sakuga once again PM me and inform me a reminder simply put to give credit where I suppose credit is due now granted I do find it well let me just say this okay I'm just a simple viewer okay so I can give credit to those who actually directed to those who storyboarded to those who animated the episode because that because these are the individuals that actually did the hard work I just sit on my ass and watch the shit so that's that's me okay so i have no problem giving credit where credit's due now that being said the person who storyboarded slash directed the episode was an individual by the name of hiroyuki yamashita now this person also directed the same episode where which madara he brings down the meteorites he goes fist to cuffs with an entire platoon Brings on the fire waves, Susano, Raining Guy, and all that good stuff. And of course, she's the person, or he's the person, because I, I can't really tell, that directed the episode of of uh, Sasuke and Team Hawk, Taka versus Killer B, that one, and the beginning of the fight between Jiraiya and Pain slash Nagato. So, a person who's directed pretty good episodes, and again, credit is due because this one at the end pretty damn good animation to be sure now or at least it was directed fairly well now when it came to one particular part i'm sorry two there were two parts in the end where i really really liked a lot first of all when it came to the miss ninja trying to pack obito because these guys are blood mist village they're the real hardcore 
Mischief, yeah, we're the Mischief, yeah, we're real hardcore blood, Mischief, yeah, sprinkle blood, so, you know, the hardcore guys, and what happens is that after Obito does his initial attack, and he does the whole punch, and the wood comes out of the actual fist, and one guy's on the ground, he's gonna stab him, these messengers come above him, and they're like, die, and oh, the blades phase through Obito, because he has his Mangeki Shangan active. And after that, they kill their own buddy. What happens? Obito jumps up, and he pulls like a Bruce Lee. This was nasty. He does like a spinning backwards roundhouse kick. And he breaks necks. He breaks necks, man. Over. With one swoop, he broke three dudes necks with one kick. Oh my god, Morpheus would be proud, like, whoa, whoa, this motherfucker, whoa, he took the right pill, Jesus, he's good, he is beyond the one, so, that was a very well animated scene, it was just cool, the way it panned out, the way it was directed, the second scene, at the end, was when, these two Miss Ninja are running towards Rin's corpse to collect it for some odd reason. Now, I know the exact reason because, again, I've read the manga and we're ahead, but they collect the corpse or they're going there to, to grab the corpse of Rin because Rin has some significance to the, Miss Ni to the Miss Village. Again, we don't know why at this point in time. But what Obio does is that he runs, you know, the iconic panic ninja dork run. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I've actually seen dudes in like, I remember when I was in high school, Naruto was still playing, I saw a dude run like that. I was like, oh no, get the fuck out of here. Like, it was stupid. It was funny, but it was stupid. But either way, I, I, a legit, in the middle of gym class, I'm like, oh shit, bro. Okay, whatever, either way. Either way, either, let's move on. <laughs> Basically, he does that, and he's running through a pack of, you know, like, the, the Miss Village guys. And he's phasing through them as they're trying to swing at him and hit him, and they can't hit him. And this part was awesome. He has, like, a wood spear. He just pegs it at the closest dude to Rin's body. And it was so powerful where it sent this dude blasting back, and the shockwave almost knocks his buddy over. I'm like... Bro, that was a nasty toss. Yeah, like a javelin. Like this guy, like this guy belongs in, in like the Olympics. Easy, Obito. Easy, easy. Just javelin toss. Yeah, and the force. And then mid-flight, Obito's like, yeah. And the initial wood spear grows and branches out. So these twigs continue to proceed into that guy's body and pierce through his backside. So that was a very good scene right there. Very cool. Very cool. And then it goes on to proceed where Obito has that iconic scene where the trees grow from his arm, then they turn into the actual moon. The moon and the way the trees are resemble his own look, where in which he has the very similar Toby mask outfit right now. And it kind of like swerves into his only eye. So... It's that whole thing going on, and this is the transformation of Obito. He was a nice guy. He was all about Rin. Oh, I want your pussy so bad. To, it's hell. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I couldn't get a pussy. Yeah. So, yeah. It's the guy that, you know, the guy who's uh, on some pedo stat. Where the fuck is the pedo bear? Bam. Pedo bear. He's in. He's in because this guy right now, this is the episode where he becomes, where he goes from a nice okay kid to this dude so yeah i'm done king of lightning episode overall with that part i thought it was very good because it was just good animation overall it was very cool very dynamic uh well directed and i will see you guys later be sure to of course rate the video comment and subscribe as always peace have a nice day